Rabbi Sachs told many stories. One such story relates to the length of a life. He said, my bub used to go around wishing everyone, may you live to be 120 and three months. She was asked, why the extra three months? She responded, I don't want you to die suddenly. Rabbi Sachs, from our perspective, died suddenly. And the fact that we all are feeling such loss in our hearts is a reflection of the power of his words to connect to our souls. And we join his family in mourning this wonderful person, this wonderful neshama, this wonderful teacher, this wonderful soul. We mourn the greatest ambassador of Jewish ideas and values in modern times, if not in history. Rabbi Sachs has shown that we can be true to our faith and a blessing to others, regardless of their faith. Rabbi Sachs lived like Avraham, the Haya Bracha. He was a blessing to millions, to the millions who read his words and to the millions whose lives were changed through the influence that he employed. I'd like to speak for a couple of moments about those ideas and values that he championed. Lawrence Summers said about the United States that the United States has always been governed by the authority of ideas rather than the idea of authority. What matters to a Jew is the authority of ideas. What mattered to Rabbi Sachs was the authority of ideas. Rabbi Sachs was a master craftsman and communicator for so many of the ideas that truly matter, the ideas that matter to our community and to our society. Rabbi Sachs has shown more than anyone why the Torah has never been more relevant than it is right now and why the work of rabbis and religious leaders all around the world remains so important. What were those ideas? Rabbi Sachs's ideas speak to us as Jews. They call upon us to practice Judaism while thinking about Judaism. He asked us to think deeply and honestly about how to overcome our inner con internal conflicts. He called upon our young people to write their letter in the great scroll of a Judaism that uniquely contributes to the great human story. Those ideas call upon us to abandon our self-image as a people alone in the world and to reclaim our purpose as a partner with God in the struggle for tzedakah and mishpat, charity and justice. Some of Rabbi Sachs's ideas speak to us as members of humankind. Those ideas ask us to appreciate the meaning contained within our differences, to reject a pluralism that homogenizes in favor of recognizing the dignity we each uniquely possess. Those ideas ask us to appreciate how science and religion are partners in the pursuit of truth. Each asks different but essential questions. Science asks what is and religion asks what ought to be. Those ideas ask us to appreciate the eternal power of religious community to foster altruism and helping us work together for the good of our group. But those ideas also ask us to question how religion creates boundaries around our groups and how this groupishness can blind us to our common humanity. Rabbi Sachs's ideas were and are powerful and they are demanding. They ask things of us. They demand thoughts and they demand action. They ask that not only countries be governed by the authority of ideas, but that we too, as citizens and as Jews, be governed by ideas. We say in this week's Parshas, Parshas Chaye Sarah, that Avram was in Si Elohim, a prince of God. Rabbi Sachs has taught us 
how the descendants of Avram can still be that Nesi Elohim in this day with all its complexity and with all its challenges that we carry with us in the Torah of Avram Avinu, the ultimate dignity and nobility that each of us has the power to be a Nesi Elohim if only we follow in the example of Avram Avinu, in the example of Rabbi Jonathan Sachs, by Yikra B'Shem Hashem, if we call out in God's name as Avram did and as Rabbi Sachs did. There are so many lessons that Rabbi Sachs leaves us. I'd like to leave you with one more. Our Torah contains everything in it. It is relevant in every generation. That we can take pride, not just in what Rabbi Sachs taught, but from the place from which he taught it. When we think about the heritage that we carry with us, we must understand that we have the very same recipe book, that we have the same tool chest as Rabbi Sachs had. And that's all of our tool chests. That's something that we carry with us. That's something that's taught in all our day schools, in all our shuls, something that we carry from the past and into the future. Rabbi Sachs shows us that we too can be that Nesi Elohim, that we too can be Korei B'Shem Hashem. And so let me close with giving you a bracha, the bracha of Nechama, that you should have comfort as we all, as all of Am Yisrael mourn this great teacher, this great person, this great neshama that connected to all of our neshamot through his teaching. And may we also carry on his legacy to cry out proudly before all the world that God still matters. And may we, each of us, continue to call out in God's name. May his memory be for a blessing, and may each of you be a blessing because of his memory.